All right, doing Control Warrior today. Been a little while, just kind of feeling it. Uh, now I did make one substitution. Put Sylvanas in instead of the Black Knight. Um, I should fix my cam here a little bit. Uh, you know, I, I originally put in the Black Knight as a counter to Druid, uh, and this is way back when. You know, we're seeing so, so much Druid, and uh, I just felt it was completely necessary at the time. It did get a lot of value, uh, but it's kind of been lingering there, not getting a ton of uh, use, generally speaking. So, Savannah's so good counter to. Well, just about anything. Uh, a little slow versus something like Zoo, but pretty much everything else. Uh, no, so it looks like we're not facing Zoo. Uh, yeah, can get a lot of value from. Well, this is Sakras the warrior. This, this is my warrior. This is this is absolutely. If this is what Sakras is running, then Sakras is running my warrior. Um. We'll just do that. I thought Sakrasta ran like owls, didn't he? I haven't actually looked at the latest list that he played, but I know he always talks about it as being like a nice drop with Brawl. Okay, actually a nice draw there. don't need to milk a ton of value from the acolytes. I think I'm comfortable just making this hit and dropping it. Don't want to shield black until I'm going to shield slam. I think this is alright. What's up, boys? Welcome, welcome. I don't know what's up with my chat today. It's got like 20 bots in it. Usually if you get bots when you go live, like as soon as you're done, they all clear out. Now when I'm looking to see who's here, it's uh, real weird. Hmm. Do I execute? I don't really need to execute here. Sunwalker's good. If he siphon souls, I probably do, but I think. Hmm. I think we drop that because we can follow up with Gore Hell. It's really like giants that you want to deal with. You have to execute for that. So I, I think with that reasoning, I'll keep it alive so that I could potentially get the damage on a giant if need be. Part of me wanted to hit here. Uh, just because, you know, four damage trades in nicely. If I really wanted, I could execute. I think that's unlikely. Let's see what we're getting here. He's got a lot of his... Uh, Threats out like he's got one other Drake, a couple mountain giants. We're sitting on a brawl and execute. I feel like we're in a pretty comfy spot here. Interesting. I'm surprised he would copy that over the Cairn. Huh, 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 huh. And that's a question of if I want to like hit and gore hell, all that kind of stuff. I want to try to get in it, because this is a good brawl counter. You could also Sunwalker. 
It's only got one health, which you'd really like to polish off. I think though this is what I'll do. This is just fine. Uh, how did you enjoy the all day long streams? How mentally taxing was it? It was mentally taxing for sure. Uh, taxing on my voice, especially. I've got a weak voice to begin with. Uh, yeah, you can hear that like scratchiness in it. I, I speak directly from my throat, not my diaphragm. So, uh, yeah, probably not the best for that. But uh, overall, I really, really enjoyed it. And I actually miss it. Like, Kind of all I want to do now is more of that. I uh, I think I'm at my best when I'm forcing myself to be very productive. I mean, if you can call playing video games on the internet productive. It's a lot to consider here. I think I kind of like the other Sunwalker. There's not really a nice brawl play here. And I only need one of these slams as a proc. Let's go do this. But yeah, well well I'm like, you know, forced to stream. Like I know the stream is live and I've told everyone I'm gonna try to, you know stay on as much as I can, then, uh, then yeah, I feel like I need to, uh, feel like I need to do it. Interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to be trying to force myself to stream more to have a sort of, uh, similar outlook to things here. Uh, so like this stream should be a longer one. I think we'll do some classics and arena. Don't know if we'll do anything more than that, but um, so, I mean we could deal with this, but like this is weird because you're hitting, you're hitting. Like it's all good, and then we just plop down a Drake. We still got the bubble, so I'm not like that worried about. Uh, Justice shall prevail. Not that worried about like a shadow flame or something. Um, I suppose though, mana wise, we should actually just get one of these out. Let's hit, hit, pop that man. Where's the million goal? I was just doing that for the, uh, the the big marathon stream. It's. Uh, <laughs> It's still in here, don't get me wrong. Uh, yeah, may maybe I'll, I'll give like periodic updates or something, but it was just kind of a, I don't know, a, a silly way to be like, you know, we're streaming for as long as I can possibly stand it, which is apparently a hundred hours. I have no time for games. Hmm. So we've got two brawls. Sending some damage face here is okay. Sylvanas is a weird one. Let's see. We could also just, again, do it pretty slow. You can, like, execute, hit here. He can't kill his own Sylvanas, like, on board, but he's very likely got the spells to do it. Like you could hit in Hellfire, hit Mortal Coil, stuff like that. So I'm not super excited about that. Um, if we send it, and one of our guys lives, he's getting it. And if it's this, you're not killing it with the weapon. You've actually gotta like slam it first. Hmm. Actually not sure how I feel about this. I think I am going to do this. Fortunately, this is uh, a little slow. Oh, 
Oh, God. A little annoying. Is that blind? Nice to see a good deck for once. I mean, we, we played some decent decks recently. We've been climbing, and I think... I mean, I know we got the star bonus, but I think our win rate's actually been positive as well. Hmm. Yeah, no activator for the execute after that slam. That's the unfortunate bit, but... I think I'm okay doing this. Part of me wants to hit there. I guess I, I could have. Um, I'm kind of expecting like a Siphon Soul and maybe something else. Not a lot of warriors are, are running double brawl, or you'd expect to have double brawl. So it's also a pretty reasonable follow up here. Things that leaves us with like not that much. I think we still do it. I'm not loving this spot. Because the deck's definitely got burst. We still have two Moltens. But we're gonna have to use like well, we're gonna have to get into our shield slams to use. Okay, with that there though, we can deal with the molten. I think it is right to just I bring life and God, it's tough. That's Karen's also pretty good if you just siphon souls that. But when else are we putting Alex out? I, I think it's fine. Make him have it. Okay, probably double Molten Giant now. Uh, why Drake instead of Sanjin or Corcoran? That seems wrong, just curious. It's just really good at fighting for the board. And, uh... Sorry, just let me think this out. 17, 13, 15. Just thinking it, how much it matters. The shield block here or not. I think it's okay. Um, yeah, so just very good at fighting for the board. So, you know, if it's getting silence versus uh, a druid when you play, you're generally trading like a four cost for a four cost. And against pretty much everything else, uh, you're just getting a lot of value, right? It's, it's going to have a lot of health because you got a lot of cards in hand. Uh, it gives you something to do on four. Um, that's a little bit more proactive, whereas like Corcoran, you're you're oftentimes just like throwing it into something to finish it or whatever. Or if you're throwing four damage face, in a lot of matchups it doesn't matter. It's nice to like strip some armor against warrior or something like that. Um, but no, the the Drake is just really really difficult to to deal with. I I put it in, you know, kind of just as. Uh, like with an idea that it might be good. Do I ever keep the armor smith? Uh, but yeah, in, in the time that I've played with it and tested it, it's like an absolute staple in this deck, in, in my opinion. See, armor smith's a tough one because you don't mind. Uh, I think we'll keep it. You don't actually mind armor up on two here, but I really do like to get things out onto the board. It's like one less health on the Drake, but I think that's fine. 
Would you prefer the war axe? Just because of all the three threes, but. Yeah, it should be not bad. Okay, toss out the armor smith. Taskmaster in here, but yeah, I really like like, like this is another matchup with uh, with Drake. It's like a big body where they often got to throw like an eviscerate into it or something. I, I've had it sapped before, which I'm fine with if it eats a sap, and uh, you can just like replay it because it's cheap. This needs to die. What now? I think we finish it off with a taskmaster, or do we buff this and hit? What's the difference? It's like two health versus three health, but the the attack's probably irrelevant. I guess it's like a spell power shiv or something. Is the only. I just can't imagine him not making that trade after we do it. Other than some sort of spell power. Maneuver, so. I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. It's probably equivalent. he got? Yo, it's that Mordhorst. Okay, he does still have the Eviscerate. Then this makes sense. Oof. Good draw. I was gonna say, it's uh, pretty sad that not have anything that's even playable here, but... Pretty good draws. That... I don't know if he was just comfortable doing that. Like, I don't know if he was digging for a conceal or if he's comfortable doing that because he's just sitting on the other gadget's hand. But I sure hope it's not. Uh... It looks like he doesn't have it. Now, all your six drops in this matchup yep, subject to. Uh, subject to sap. Now, I'm not gonna swing. I know, I know we could with Gore Hell next turn, but I think this is the best for any kind of buffs. You know, you get that sort of immediate value. I, I don't think you're like setting up to steal anything. Good old Control Warrior. That's right. Everybody likes Control Warrior. I do. Everyone who watches does. Actually, that's not true. Fuck this guy. There's like. Actually, a couple people I've I've heard express uh, contempt for it, but it's pretty rare. I mean, he's got to have a conceal, right? Yeah. A little surprised he used it there. I guess maybe just not swinging with the drink. Kind of expecting something's gonna happen there. This is fine, I guess. Yeah, see another one of those things. Karen trades great. 
but it probably doesn't matter. I'm getting more tempted to swing with the weapon, Let's though. Go. Sylvanas is not too bad, because you can actually hit Baron Steel, the other thing. I think I'm going to try Sylvanas no here. There's a chance I would gore hell soon. Uh, obviously, if he's playing out other 3-3s, three you kind of wish he had the charge of that, but... We'll see what's coming. Yeah, really unfortunate that he got the, the two gadgets that early. Ha, this guy's toast. No brawls either, because a brawl could be very good here as well. It's a good thing we swung, right? Let none survive. Man, that's one of those like crazy draws. I feel like if he plays that better, we're, we're just dead. We got no option, but putting himself to 12 there. Yeah, a little risky. Bring out the uh, the NFL scores. Got the Bills playing here soon, right? Did they kick off? Are they two fifteen or two twenty five? Two twenty five. See how they're doing today. Um, man, we've been playing. I think mostly freeze mages the the last few days. I think this is worth a keep. Does Control Warrior get better with Nax? Oh. I'd have to like look at all the Nax cards again. I don't quite remember everything that went into it. I don't think it really does though. Like I know Lotheb was a good, uh, good control tool. We're just gonna milk as much armor as possible here. Boy, I can't really remember much else that changes with it. I kind of feel like there's not a lot. Probably the one of the few turns I'm comfortable not uh, not armoring up. Maybe next turn too. Yeah, Sledge Belcher. And Sledge Belcher is probably necessary, eh? Because I know, like, aggro gets way better, right? Aggro, or, like, zoo, that kind of board control thing. Oh! You know, a little too comfortable here. Well. Ooh, I like this. This is fun. This is different. Force him to poly it? Yeah. Do a card preview for next cards. I'm down. I, I I think once they okay he does poly. I think once they actually announce it, I would do something like that. But otherwise, we'll we'll do the preview now and then you know maybe one day at some point in the future. Nax hits in like 2025. Yeah, Nax out again maybe possibly. Okay, so he's setting up for a flame strike. Fine. Uh, we'll just deny draw. Do I get the Karen out? Is the only question. It's actually pretty good pressure if he's just gonna flame strike and you're left with a, a four one and a four five. 
I think it's building up armor is just fine too. What now? But he is doing this like control variant. Kind of means he could have uh, Molten's coming out. Which means you're setting up more for like a brawl. Still pretty early. Oh, I'm gonna do it. Right. Seems fine for now. Looks like he doesn't even have the Moltens. Oh, if only we had one more life on this thing. Uh... No, if, if I'm gonna play that out, which I guess I do. Same thing, just milk it. But yeah, I'm certainly looking forward to any sort of updates to Classic. Whether it's Nax or something else. Okay. Do we slam it? I guess we slam it. Rocket at one seems good. Little unfortunate that you have to, uh, I guess we draw. And he also has the option to, like, Alex himself. I think I'm cool with this as well. Strike. Even just one draw for this from a board clears fine. I don't know, pretty tough to lose. Be awesome to have Nax meta back, amazing times. Yeah, I don't know, it would just be nice, uh, nice to have variety is kind of how I feel. I don't know about the Nax meta, I'm not like super looking forward to uh, any particular kind of Jack or style or whatever, but yeah, just something, something different would be fun. I do hope they do the smart thing though and release it after the nerfs to to Undertaker. Anything without Discover. Well, yeah, that's that's true. When did they add Discover? What expansion was that? I think there was a good number without it. But yeah, that was just a... I don't know. That mechanic is way too good. That being said, I was also not a huge fan of just the generate a random card design philosophy, like uh, Unstable Portal, just crazy, right? Like sometimes it's the greatest thing ever, you generate this like legendary, you can play on three or four or something, and then other times it's just complete trash. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You got 30 plus whatever. And in in theory, there's like something okay with that, right? I don't think there's anything wrong with saying... Uh, uh, let me think here. What do we actually want in this match? Yeah. It's just nice if he's got some early shit innervated out, but it also means you just kind of willing to give up the board which I don't like. I, I really do like Drake's here and War Axe. Um, yeah, like being able to generate answers in the case of like, say the choose one mechanic. Now obviously those cards are very, very strong 
uh, in classic. I think they're kind of busted. Um, but things like that where you're able to uh, make a decision based on the situation. Uh, even stuff that would give like, was it GVG? Where there was all those, the spare parts. You know, I know that they were random, but say there was something that would let you choose the spare part or something like that. You know, do you want to freeze? Do you want to add one attack to something? Um, small little tweaks like that, and then you can play around it. And it's a nice little back and forth. Add some flexibility so you don't have to construct your deck to like, this is what I have versus aggro, and this is what I have versus everything else kind of thing. Um, yeah, all, all that I'm totally cool with, but... The discovery mechanic just makes things... Oh, wow. Really good draw. Yeah, the discovery mechanic just made it so like, oh, I can discover the the answer to win the game. <laughs> it's like, what? That seems a little, a little strong. Uh, it is wrong because you can't play around cards. Yeah, yeah, and and that's what I mean. It, it's like the idea of being able to, to generate something for the situation in itself. Like if that's what you're talking about in the design meeting, oh, we want some more flexibility. I think that there's uh, there's a good way to do it, and I think discover is not the right way to do it. You know, like even if it was the same three cards every time, however you. You know, you word that. Uh, hmm. What do we do here? I think I want to get Sylvanas down. Getting down to 20 is like a little, you know, starting to get spooky. What now? But I don't know, if you throw that in and you execute, you're giving up a lot of tempo as well. I, I think this is fine. Yeah, that's why I really hate that card. You know, playing a bit of Arena. Um, what is it? He's like a genie or something. It's like a two man, a three, two. <laughs> and the text is like, what is it? It like grants the perfect wish or some shit like that. And it's just, it. it's Discover to, oh, interest. Didn't silence Sylvanas, huh? I gotta think about this. Um, yeah, it, it's like discover, but it like guarantees that it's broken. So I guess we just Gorehal. I'm, I'm thinking he wants us to hit so he can swipe. And Gorehal's good anyway. Zephyr, here. That's, yeah, that's the card. Exactly. Just as soon as you see it played out, it's like, great, what are you gonna do? You're gonna drop the biggest taunt, you're gonna clear my board, you're gonna heal 50 life, like. All right, so we've got Thal no swipe, it's still a problem, but. This is, all right, can I get a shield block? We'll take that. Get to generate a bit of armor. Get a, uh, Nice kill on this thing. Yeah, I just don't want to get down too low. And now we just got like tons of removal for everything, so yeah, we don't set up lethal, but I think it's the best chance to win. Boy. Wrong order. So now we get a tree in. At the end of the turn. So it does still die. It's the turn, not the end of your turn. Interesting. Strike, strike. 
Well, we're back up to 30, feeling pretty okay about that. Uh, 13, is this lethal? 10, 11, 12, we really want off. Uh, okay, I guess, I think you Alex his face, right? I didn't really have a lot to deal with it. You either take three damage or give him three life. I think it's better to just have it on the board. I bring life. Strike, strike. What a weird... We're just gonna drag this game on as long as we can. But yeah, I don't know what it does. Even if you like BGHs, it's just... I've got the yeah. best in my it's fine, what do you do with seven? Kill any taunts, got lethal. Even if he armors up. I guess he could heal again. Strap in. We got a 55 minute game coming. I don't even hate keeping BGH. D Drake is the best card in your opening hand here. War Axe is good because you can take out an Acolyte. We should be able to with this anyway. I'm going to throw it back. Got so much removal, so much time to draw it. There we go. Pretty good. Gonna watch Titanic until this match is over. Well, at least that way you can catch the end of it. Of Thanks, dude. Damn, I was kind of hoping he would play something different. You know, like he's coining out this super aggro tool it's always a nice surprise when uh, you end up facing like a pirate aggro warrior thing it's happened like once in my life did you know that you die at 20 fatigue i think i i didn't know the number but i did know that there is a limit there's like a number of cards you can draw where uh where the game just ends. Actually, no, isn't it a number two? Maybe you're just making a joke about how fucking long this goes. But no, it's a number of turns, isn't it? Hearthstone ends after like 60 turns or something ridiculous like that. Because uh, there was an exploit. It's up on YouTube. This is a game that lasted for three days, really. Was it the... Uh, it's going to execute it, I guess. Was it the warrior deck? I don't remember the card. But there was one that would, like, shuffle your hand back into your deck or something like that. That was... It was after I stopped playing that they added it. But I definitely saw it happen. Yeah, because I remember Disguised Toast used to make all those videos of, like, crazy shit you can do in Hearthstone, and you'd, you know, just go into, like, try mode or whatever and, and mess with that stuff. I'm not sure which of these six drops I want to put out. 
Karen is so good, but if we Karen into Sylvanas, it's so bad. Uh, if you Sunwalker, it's like, okay. I think you do just Sylvanas yourself. I yeah, I think no so. Eating two big pieces removal. I mean, that's the other nice thing. Like, Drake's optimally, you're like chipping away armor, dealing with these two and three drops. Um, but if you're eating all that removal early, it also means that, uh, None so interesting, eyes. that they have no, uh, no removal for your other stuff later. I think you just go for the kill. I know you could like Taskmaster, but then we get a steal or like a Whirlwind or something. I think I like this line the best. Zone, then I'm pretty comfortable running mine out if I want. Uh, I also don't mind Taskmaster take out the first half and then Karen. Any other options? I don't really want to execute. I'm feeling right. Yeah, I think that that's the way to do it. Okay, might get into rag wars a bit here. Well, we're really mirroring boards now. We can do it, right? You piece of shit. Reg whiffs, and we get a good reg. It's nice because we've got Harrison, but fuck. But fuck. Like, I really don't want to war axe execute, but I might have to. I think you have to. Gross. 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 Icky. I hate it. I wish I did it last turn, just the way that that unfolded. So could have drawn first. Disaster, yeah. We I mean, were still in it just because uh, we've had so many threats coming out. And we're actually not in like the worst spot, but we were like nice and ahead until that raid. 12, 16, all right, so he's been digging pretty deep. That's a little. Okay, it's actually quite annoying. What's up, Wild Azoki? Welcome. Welcome. I saw you follow up somewhat recently, so. Good to see you pop in. Uh, if we hit the bubble, we're at 23. If we hit, we're at 19, and he's got 6, we'd be like 1 off of Grom. I don't like it. Right, 6, 12, 18. I think he's still got one Taskmaster. Because if you don't hit an Alex, or you just don't Alex, you're hoping to like drop into answers, and it's possible. We do have like double brawl. I must choose. Oof. I'm 
going to assume that we can generate enough going forward that this is okay. I, it's really close between trying to draw into an answer and just putting that down. But the thing is, like, I don't know, he's not that high on cards. He's used a lot of removal. I feel like this might survive. Let's see. A uh, nice classic gameplay. It's your main game mode right now. Well, that is, uh, God damn it. Also, our main game mode, so. Yeah, always nice to see uh, new faces. All right, is this what we gotta do? Hit, we're down at nine. Oh. It's not even good enough. Okay, we need answers, but we've got opportunities to draw it. Jeez. Okay, we'll do it like that. Very slow. Does not put us in a good spot, but... I don't know, only nine cards left. There's a chance he's sitting on Gron. I assume he swings here. Oh, he doesn't. Okay. Okay, we actually have options here. Kind of not even that upset. There's a lot that I think is good here. I think Brawl is the answer. We've got two Brawls. I want to get as much value as possible out of them. You could like execute Gorehal hit. Or you could just gore hell hit and chill, but I, I think just killing like one thing with a brawl here is okay, and then I'm willing to execute if I need to. Also might make him overextend into the other. Whoa! He got rid of a Brawl, a Geddon, and a Cleave. Wow. Wait, why? But why? I'm not complaining, but why? Nothing wrong with running Deathwing, but that just seems so preemptive. Hey, I'll take it. Yeah, hopefully that's his only brawl, too. Okay, this is like one of these super uber greedy warriors. I mean, I hope this is just like, what is it, dream or something? That thing that sends it back to your hand? You actually might brawl this, too. And then if you lose, you shield slam. What else are you saving brawl for? It's the only thing is it's kind of nice to actually have this just sitting there, but Strike. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just win the 50-50. Easy. could he have like running Deathwing and Ysera he's got to cut some stuff he had Geddon so there's still like maybe a Sylvanas in here he's got Sanjin and stuff I don't know I don't know if he's playing all that jazz 
Um, what do we have now? We've got 16 damage. I just don't see a reason. What's the problem with getting Grom out? He uses executes, like it should be fine, right? I don't really see a problem with doing that. Anything you're saving BGH for? Well, I'm gonna do this anyway. Knowing this guy could be running like an Nixia or something. Just gotta get all the dragons in here. We just have lethal, right? Nice. Twelve hundred and twenty five wins, is that what it said? Yeah, I might have played this game a lot. I will fight with honor. Okay, actually a really nice starting hand. Gotta consider if I would ever keep this. I think you're still going for I think there's a lot of better stuff. I really think about it in terms of aggro paladin control doesn't really matter you want to be able to like spend cards fast brawl's good too and uh not let them get a lot of divine favor value recently got my first 500 wins on hunter hunter might have been my first even i'm not sure i actually quite like hunter If, uh, yeah, if it wasn't my first, it must have been Warrior. Uh, Warrior's always kind of been interesting. It's rare that you do this, but it's not, like, the worst play. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, Warrior was always kind of, like, my go-to, but, you know, it's just, it just takes, like, a long time to get, to. Uh, Oh, a thousand wins or whatever it is. Yeah, games are quick and brainless. Next up's Warlock. Nice. I think we just coined the Drake. Not really interested in hitting. You're only really sad if he's like buffing it. Even if he qualities to take it out, it's fine. But yeah, if he's one of the weird paladins that runs Blessing of Kings, I guess it becomes a little awkward. Maybe we slam it. Not sure. Interesting. Okay, I did not expect that. But we've got double brawl, and I think we just go into that. If this is going to be a pretty control-heavy list. But yeah, like... You know, I've played a good amount of that uh, control hunter. There's there's ways to play hunter that isn't brainless, but uh, yeah, I think we will actually deal with this. The draw is nice. Would like the armor. Maybe we're doing that before we brawl. But yeah, I mean, if you just go like face hunter or something like that, for sure, real quick games.
follow the rules. The light protects me. Well, if he's gonna do all that for sure, we're just gonna brawl. Any one of these surviving? Not that good. Or, or not that bad for us, not that good for him. Yeah, we got a second brawl. He might overextend into it. I uh, didn't even know. I mean, I do see quite a bunch of beast hunters in classic. It, it, it's not a... Uh, it's not a common list. I don't think Control Hunter saw any play at all. Uh, you know, when the game first came out. But, uh, no, we've definitely been making it work. Okay, so it's probably the thing where it brings him back to life with one health or whatever. Uh, so you actually have the option of doing it on the squire. Double silence. Shield block would be real nice. Hey. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Let me think about this. So you taskmaster this guy. Shield block, shield slam, this, war axe, something else. Seems right. What? Interesting. So it's not the thing that brings him back with one health. Huh. Okay. Well, I think we still stick with this. What is it then? Like, really a noble sacrifice? Okay. Hmm. Well, not as efficient as we could have been. It's not really a big deal shooting a 1-1 one, one instead of a 2-1. I will hit. Hope to milk as much value out of that as possible. Man, this guy's playing so weird. But it's still a pretty close game. Justice. Guardian, eh? Okay, I think I'm gonna execute that, but I guess we can slam first. And do this. Boy, that was strange, because he's even at a point where, like, Getting too many draws off of the act like could have been a really bad thing. Like unless he's hoping to like lay on hands Truth is my and go beyond it. I don't know. Yeah, that was, that was strange. Gonna lurk yet? No problem. Lurk is always good too. Okay, so this isn't Noble Sack. So this is probably the weird bring stuff back. What is this deck? Yeah, we haven't seen any true silvers. There's an ash bringer still probably to come. 
Like, what if we just armor up and pass? Or, like, do I even want to draw off of the shield block? There's so many questions. Like, I do want the draw, just in that we don't have all this much, or all that much going on here. I think I will force him to make any kind of move, but yeah, I'm just... I am a little nervous to draw here. We can always draw next turn if we really feel we need answers. Oh. Hmm. Oh, we do have to start doing stuff. A one card difference now. It's just, yeah, what are we gonna do there? Really surprised to not see a true silver though. And I think that that might be our target because I just can't draw that much off of an Ashbringer. But like a single draw here, that's all right. Now we can like execute Harrison Taskmaster however we want to do. Oh, also gonna be nice. Yeah, so let's do that. He could just hit Harrison here, but it denies the true silver. I think this is fine. I'm not wild about uh, where we're at. Reporting for duty. The light protects me. Okay, we're looking at one more equality. I, I prefer a Sunwalker to something like a Sylvanas, I think. Just because of that. No Boy, yeah, this is, uh, Quite difficult. Be really nice to get into Alex and have a board that I'm not expecting to get a quality, but I, I think he's still got one no consecrate and maybe Is this a noble sack? Like Reporting for duty. Uh, Yeah, we don't now we definitely don't need Alex. But I think we just send it face. No problem. Uh, I guess we would do this first. We're setting up for a brawl. Okay, it is it is repentance probably. So I guess we want to do this. Or a redemption, whatever. I can never remember the names of this shit. Yeah. Yeah, we, we don't actually really care how much damage is there. It's just if it was Noble Sack, that guy would have died. Now we got this kind of thing going. Reporting for duty. Sylvanas winning here is pretty annoying. Uh, 
And I think, I feel like there's still a decent chance that there's like a rag in the deck, which makes you want to keep this. Alex into Baron. But he's potentially got healed too. He's played one Guardian. He's got all these secrets. Nah, I think we do this still. But if he heals, like maybe it's a Holy Light. Maybe he's got a Guardian. I don't think it's the worst thing. Yeah, expecting that. He does have a guardian. I'm almost out of cards. Okay, how do we want to do this? I think I'd rather just get Reg out. Great shot. He doesn't have any equality, so. Yeah, unless it's like a BGH, in which case we fall out with Geddon, and we probably get enough damage over the next few turns. Reporting for duty. I'm out of cards. Interesting. So we can kill Tyrion. Or hell shield slam. You can also Grom shield slam. If you get in regs, thing is going off first, which is the unfortunate bit, right? So you can't, yeah, can't really strip that. But you could like even just shield slam the bubble. Hmm. Hmm. Fire us with the fall. Thank you. You could even shield slam your own Sylvanas and try to steal it. I mean, it's basically a win if you get that. Maybe you get in and go for the Sylvanas shield slam next turn. I, must I, think I like that the most. And if he's running in to either one of those, I guess he's got like five damage on us directly, but we got a decent amount here. And if we take a bit more damage, this can be our activate for ground too. Follow the rules. Reporting for duty. Do you like to play with fire? Trying to think this is seven, yeah. I have no time for games. Yeah, we need a bit more damage on him. It might even have to happen through fatigue. And then we should have it in two turns. Yo, flash get Oh! Oh, this is big, I think. Oh! God, what do we see? Okay. This is wild. This is totally wild. Okay, we take two. He's taking none. We can make this do ten to face. But it is. It's over two turns. But we take too much damage now that we can't... Oh, okay. Okay. I think this is correct. He's got eleven. I think you have to do it like this. Because you do the 10 now. If you wait, you don't have armor to use it as the proc. He's either got to kill us now, or he deals with this or whatever, and then we gore hell hit, takes one fatigue damage. And we win. Right, right. Oh, 
No, it's just Noble Sack. Oh my god, it's Noble Sack, isn't it? In which case, we just lose no matter what. There's no way. This is so sad. Wow. Oh, it's so sad. It's so sad. No! Uh, well, I think we played that at the end correctly anyway. Definitely a weird deck. Playing around things that... Uh, that I wasn't expecting. Four secrets in Paladin. Yeah, that was painful. That was... Not the nicest way to end it, but oh well. At least it was entertaining. Garrosh versus Garrosh. Earth's dreams eyes are upon you. Victory or death. Okay, I think we're good with that. Strap in for another long one. So did I make a million dollars? No, <laughs> did not make a million dollars. Not yet, not yet. Yeah, I think that uh, that timeline might have to be extended just a bit, just, you know, give it some more years now. Oh nice, the bills are up 10 nothing. This is This is what we like to see. Very nice. Think I can do it this year? I, I, I love your optimism. But the way things are set up now, I think it's extremely unlikely. I guess I want to hit it so he doesn't taskmaster it. Yeah, I'd be very, very surprised if I did. Honestly, I would just like to get... Uh, get income coming in through this kind of stuff this and game design but hey we're gonna set our sights high and I hope you're right uh, is just the gar car playable in standard I don't know I, I don't uh, I don't play standard so I couldn't tell you all I know is just the car when I did play when just the car was released it's uh, extremely good so Yeah, sorry, can't help you there. I don't know if anyone here really plays standard, but maybe somebody else knows. You believe you're never not right? Flash, can I sure hope you're right about this? Would be nice, would be real nice. What do we want to do here? I think I just want the one draw off Acolyte, make him swing. Could Taskmaster it? Doesn't really contest the board that much better. We've already got like a six. We've got draw. Oof. Yeah, always tough this early to know how much you want to draw. I think I like it better than coining the Sunwalker at least. Yeah, generally, I really like Taskmaster for its ability to set up and execute. But we don't have any. We've got two in hand. That's where I was a little bit more willing to do that. We'll see. There's an execute. Okay. Boy, other people running uh, Sunwalker today. Good to see, good card. Smart people. I think it is worth popping the bubble though. I 
Okay, maybe this is. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say maybe that's where our uh, taskmaster comes in. I like Brawl and I like Rag. Rag's a one in three to be like the worst card ever. Um. But I want to think through what I would do in the Brawl scenarios. If this lives, I think I would Taskmaster execute. If this lives, I don't know if I would execute. Don't really have anything else good. But we've got two brawls. I think this is an okay first brawl. I don't think we do. I think we just do this. Because if we play out the execute, I guess you can like match a rag with a rag or something. Yeah, I think that's a mistake. I think I should have executed it. I think I'm taking four more damage than I need to. Because that just ends up being what we're... We're doing here, probably. Unless we want to take the safe bet. Which I actually don't mind, too. I don't know. Reg, Reg pretty much lost this the game before. I think I actually... Like this. And we're not in the realm of death just yet. Yeah, I actually think that this this is better. There's four. I mean, unless he's running in a rage, right? But like a whirlwinded uh, Grom still doesn't kill us, and then we generate armor later. No, I think this, I think this is all right. Okay, this is good too, right? I think we want the armor. I think we need the armor. We do. Let none survive. Don't even have to do that. Do I want the armor smith out? No, I don't want too much stuff for bra. So we just do this, this, and then we go. Up to 18, actually quite nice. What are we looking at for cards? We have the Harrison that I like Alex here. He's only got two cards in hand. Yeah. BGH can be a problem. But I don't think it's a reason to play like that passive. Let the pain speak to me. Oh, he throws everything into it. Okay, this I like. Can we... No, we're one off of lethal. We use both Taskmasters, right? Ooh. Gotta love this, though. Guarantee the damage to face. <laughs> what is that supposed to be? Is an owl. I can't tell if it's like an owl in a hoodie. A sweaty owl in a hoodie. Because when it's all small, like I only see that when I hover over it. When it's all small, it looks like an owl in a space suit. I'm not sure how to respond to that, Mortorce. But yes. Yes, whatever. 
Whatever you mean by that. Uh-huh. Sure. Yeah, owl in a hoodie. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. It's cute. Alright, well, I think that's where we're going to end it for Classic today. Uh, pretty good day. We only lost the one game to the Paladin, um, which was probably a winnable game if I knew what I was up against, but made a couple misplays not knowing, and it was still very close by the end. Uh, really, really fun game anyway, but yeah, good deck. I, th I think this latest inclusion, because of how little... Um, Druid we've been facing. I, I think Sylvanas is probably money in this deck, so probably going to stick with that going forward, but uh, 